the pelvis is a really important area to consider given its importance with biomechanics, with uh, ambulation, all the different muscles that attach to the pelvis uh, from the lower extremities to the back. Um, you have also the important organs within the pelvis that could be affected with biomechanical restrictions and somatic dysfunction of the pelvis. So let's take a closer look at the pelvis. So the pelvis itself uh, is also called the anatomy. It consists of three separate bones at birth. Uh, you have the ilium, which is more superior. You have the ischium, which is a little bit more posterior, inferior, and the pubic bone is anterior. So the three bones come together and form the acetabulum. The acetabulum is the socket where the femoral head articulates with the anonymous. So the SI joint is a joint where the sacrum articulates with the anonymous. This joint has a little bit of play to allow for mobility. In males, the SI joint is actually a little bit um, more well-developed. The ligaments are a little bit um, stronger. Um, the, the pelvis is actually a little bit tighter. In females, uh, the pelvis is a little bit wider. The ligaments are a little bit more lax. Uh, this is to assist with uh, the changes in motion and movements that have to occur uh, during childbirth. So the motion in general becomes more and more limited as one ages. The SI joint is usually L or C-shaped and is contoured with a shorter upper arm and a longer lower arm. The main um, axis of uh, the junction between the sacrum and the pelvis lies at S2. The pubic symphysis is the joint where the anonymous meet anteriorly. The two pubic bones will meet anteriorly, forming the circle along with the sacrum. And there is a fibral cartilage disc in between the two. There are many ligaments um, surrounding the sacrum and pelvis. Um, the sacral pelvic ligaments kind of help to form a suspensory bridge for the sacrum to be supported there. There's not a lot of muscle that keeps the um, sacrum in place with the uh, anonymous. In fact, uh, it's these ligaments that help to support the sacrum. So the sacrum is supported by three true ligaments and three accessory ligaments. Uh, the true ligaments are the anterior iliac ligament, uh, the interosseous sacral iliac ligaments, and the posterior sacral iliac ligaments. There are some accessory um, ligaments that include sacral tuberous, sacral spinous, and the iliolumbar ligaments. All these ligaments kind of combine and help to suspend the sacrum, uh, bearing the brunt of all the forces of the rest of the spine from above, and also the forces from the lower extremities and impact from ambulation and walking.